Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the Hungarian scholarships which are fully funded scholarships for bachelor, masters, PhD and medical programs. So it's very much similar to CSE scholarship and very easy to apply and the procedure is also very much similar to CSE scholarship. So uh, I would say like you should apply for this scholarship because it's a lifetime opportunity to study in European University based in Hungary. So uh, today I'm going to talk about like how you can uh, process your documents online in any Hungarian university which is offering Hungarian government stipendium for BS, MS or PhD. So I'll take you uh, to the procedure. So starting here, I want to discuss like what are the benefits or what are the details of the scholarship. First of all, the students who are going to study their bachelor or a master's degree in any Hungarian university, so they'll get uh, nearly 150 euros as a monthly stipend. So the second thing is that they will get a shared room in the uh, Hungarian universities uh, like in the dormitories and the third thing is that they'll uh, get free education and with that life insurance coverage will be also provided. So there is uh, another question like if you're applying online for uh, this uh, scholarship then uh, is there a need to pay a scholarship application processing fee? So the answer is no. There is no such fee uh, for application which you have to pay. So you can apply for free. So the second thing here, you can see that that the uh, country list is mentioned on the fourth bullet point here. So you can see the countries' names here, like Pakistan, Georgia, Nigeria, and so on. So all the students belo who belong from these any of these countries can apply for this scholarship. And the second most important thing is that is mentioned in the third bullet point here, which is the IELTS requirement. So the thing is, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the thing is, there is no IELTS requirement. There is no TOEFL requirement for Hungarian scholarship. So the only thing you have to provide is English proficiency certificate, which you can obtain from your previous university. So this is very simple. This is very much similar to CSE because CSE scholarship also do not need uh, the uh, IELTS or TOEFL. So only thing you have to provide is the English proficiency certificate. And uh, the third thing is that you have to be good in health in order to apply for this scholarship. Talking about, talking about the procedure of Hungarian scholarship, I would say that you have to submit two applications. The first application, which we stated in, in red color here, which, which says like application A. So that application A has to be submitted online on Hungarian government scholarship website, where you have to write down the name of university and uh, the program you are interested in. And the second application, which is application B, you have to submit this application directly to the university. So, and you have to post your documents as well to the university along with application A and application B. So, I would now take you uh, to the link from where you can apply online. And I will show you like how to apply online. So, this is a link. You have to click on the point number 12, which says like online link. Click here. Before that, I would also tell you that on bullet number 2, you can see that list 1 and list 2 links are available from where you can download the Excel file containing the programs offered by universities and university list and their web pages. So on third bullet point you can see that there is a PDF list available as well which states the number of programs like uh, if I click here then a link will open which is like this one. So it's uh, it states that this uh, agriculture biotechnology is offered in MS uh, level for year 2017 and 18. So all of uh, the details of this uh, degree program that are mentioned here. 
So this is a 417 page document stating all BS, MS, medical and PhD programs. So you can see, you can see now that food engineering in BSc is also mentioned. So a lot of programs are available. So you just have to find yours. You can maybe press Control F and write down your major to search the document like if I say engineering then you can find the programs or keywords related to engineering so this is how you can find the uh, names of programs in this document very easily so the third thing here is that when you click on the application link then you'll see this screen where you have to submit your application online for Hungarian scholarship you have to make your username and your password you have to register for it so I'll tell you after registration what things you are going to see so this is a guide so the first thing is that you must not use any tablet or mobile phone to launch your application you must use computer or laptop and you can use Internet Explorer Mozilla Firefox or Chrome things you need before starting this application motivation ladder study certificate which is your degree program diploma or certificate or transcript whatever and the third thing is language certificate so I have also mentioned the documents list here which is very simple like motivation ladder and uh, English proficiency certificate then you also need uh, scanned copies of your uh, bachelor masters PhD degrees along with their transcripts physical examination form which you can download from here in ask any of the doctor certified doctor to sign it and then statement of application form which is available here like if you click this one then you'll see this link like statement of application you have to download this one you have to sign this and again scan it and get it ready for your online application so there are two more requirements for PhD candidates only so for the PhD candidates they also have to provide two recommendation letters and with that they also have to write a research plan so this is a link available from where you can you know uh, see the sample of this research plan so let's say when you register your account here and begin your application process so the first thing you're going to see is like this thing on the right hand side the registration form so you have to fill it out and then you have to log in and the next screen you will see would be like the personal information section like a CV detail section so you have to insert your picture on the top next thing you have to insert your title I mean your name your family name and all your relevant details your passport number your address and your phone number your last degree programs and your personal details skills and all such things you have to fill it out and then you have to submit so after that you see you'll see this icon I mean like this icon which is mentioned like in this red arrow this icon and along with you'll see that start new job slash document so you have to press this button start new job slash document and then when you click this one you'll see this screen this is the next screen you are going to see and in this screen you have to select the last option which says that stipendium Hungarian apply that like this is the scholarship on which you have to apply so you have to click start button and the next thing you are going to see is like stipendium Hungarian 
2017 to 2018 session. So you have to click it to begin your online application. So the next thing would be like the application data. And in this, you have to insert the first thing, which is the uh, highlighted here, like sending partners. Choose your country from where you belong. The third thing will be like your highest degree. You have to mention it. And the third, fourth thing will be like the part time is not available in every country for every country partner. So there are some pro programs which are part time programs and they are not offered for certain countries. So if your program is offered like for full time then you will not see any notification but in case if you see any notification that means like your program is not offered for full time. So these things you have to uh, I mean select and then type of scholarship you have to select full time to obtain a full scholarship and then you have to click submit like here you can see it but blue button on top which says action when you click it you'll see a submit button so you have to click on submit and this way your application will be submitted the third thing you are going to see would be the CV section and in this section you have to insert your details once again like your passport number your address the zip code the country of birth city of birth and all these kind of uh, you know uh, details and again you have to click on the action button and click save so this is it and the third thing you are going to see would be applicants third three choices study programs so you have to select a study program in this field and then you'll see the options underneath after choosing your study programs the details of that particular program will be loaded automatically so you are not required to change anything here so just go to action button and click submit after choosing three preferences so the next thing would be to attach your documents as I stated earlier here that these are the documents you need before you start your online application so go through these bullet points prepare these documents and then start this application and then you have to submit your motivation motivation letter language certificate that would be like English proficiency certificate or IELTS or TOEFL or anything so which, which actually proves that you studied your last degree in English language then your educational certificates passport copy medical form then the application uh, the applicants of PhD degree has to submit their recommendation letters in obviously if you're applying for a PhD program then you have to attach your research plan and the last thing would be the copy of arts uh, of your work if you are applying for an arts or music program and again you click action and click on submit but bear in mind that if you are going to click submit then the application would be submitted and in case if you need to modify anything in future then you can withdraw your application and then you can edit it and then do not forget to resubmit it otherwise your application would not be processed and there is no application fee and make sure that your application is submitted so this is the first application you have to submit I mentioned here that this is the application A so once you finish this application you have to think about the second application which is application B and application B belongs to the university in which you are going to apply so you have to I mean based on your program you'll see the university list and then you have to select that university and go to its website and then 
you have to follow its application admission application procedure and then you have to make an online application so for that example I already selected a university which is University of Tbilisi and in this university once you finish your online application which was application A you have to click here which is application on, apply online and then you'll see the link here to the application form you have to click it and this will take you to the university's application form where you have to submit the program type whether you are going to study an undergraduate program masters or PhD academic year your all details passport number and all of the details and you have to then submit your application by the declaration form by signing this declaration form and once you submit this application form then you have to take a print of it and you also have to take a print of your first application that was application A and then bind your all documents together like these documents with application A and, in, and with application B and make two sets of these documents and then send these documents to university's address so this is the procedure to apply for Hungarian scholarship it is very simple and it is very much similar to CSE scholarship and uh, there is no scholarship fee and one more thing I would like to mention here is that once you submit your application here then by the end of June the first list of successful candidates will be announced and they will be asked for a short Skype interview before they will be issued the admission letters for visa processing so you have to wait for that time so that in case if you're selected then you will receive the admission notice and you can begin your journey your next academic journey from September 2017 so this is it guys I hope you like this video and share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get some more scholarship updates on a regular basis so thanks for your time take care bye bye